Okay, all right, I'm going to play Red White Initiative. We got uh, some juicy stuff. It's basically White Initiative, but with, uh, you know, Fable of the Mirror Breaker, Magus of the Moon, and Caves of Chaos Adventure in the uh, in the four spot here. And it's got, like, all the other fun stuff, like uh, fucking Simming Spirit Guide to speed that shit out. So this is going to be interesting. I really like the uh, Sunbig Canyon as a, a little bit of extra draw. That does seem like I don't play much initiative, but when I have played it, I've seen like one big problem being that like you barf out your opening hand and then kind of like go from there and God bless you, can you win? So I do like the Sunbig Canyon there as a little bit of a uh, an extra, extra little bit of juice right there. So uh, this is going to be interesting and I'm kind of excited to see how it turns out. So let's get a lead going and wish me luck. Turn to, uh, or I mean, can we go faster? Put this on the play. This is on the play, I think this is a keep. On the draw, I think this is a symbol on the draw, I think. We can go faster than this in vintage, right? There we go. Oh, Doomsday. Interesting, interesting, interesting. All right, I mean, this is the turn to. Um. Yeah. Ooh, thank you, my computer. You're so good. Gonna be okay. So I mean, I'm gonna pick the Simeon Spirit Guard just because, like, even though I don't get as much boost. Hello. This could possibly draw out their um counter spells. Probably draws out a Force of Will if they need to. Okay, yeah. Pitching Cluster Storm, so we learned nothing there. But it's still very well could be Doomsday. There's not too many people play under city sewers right now. Ponder and yeah, smells like doomsday. Um, then I think I really want to get the Archon out next turn. So I'll make an uncountable Archon and then, okay, it's definitely a doomsday. Uncountable Archon followed by counterable. Well, not exactly counterable. This is actually a little bit better against doomsday than, um, yeah. Um, yeah. This is <laughs> Wait, no, no, no. Let's play the Archon actually, yeah. That's fine. We'll play the Archon now. Computer, please. No, no, this is vintage. It's very much vintage. Looks like legacy, but not very much vintage. We haven't really seen anything yet that looks like, uh, that looks like vintage, but we'll get there. Well, not from this deck, really. Maybe a mox or two, but. Why is my computer so chunky right now? Yeah, I want white, right? Yeah. Do I want some white? Yeah, I think some white mana. Because Doomsday shouldn't really have um many ways to deal with. Uh... Yeah. We're just going to good. Like... I suppose that um, there are a few things Doomsday could do, um, but dropping the turn is for your next turn should pretty much just lock it. Gonna yield. 
I mean, they could like do some things. I walk. Right, that's pretty good for them. There are ways for Doomsday to play around Archon, but it is one of the harder things for it to play around. Um, should I drop the transfer sooner? I don't think so because, like, I mean, maybe I could have. They wouldn't have gotten the next return, but yeah, okay. They could borrow if they're playing one of my older lists. Bargorf is entirely possible. Um, on the draw, Doomsday. Um. This is kind of terrible. All 12 cards there. This is sorted by color. Mana value. Yeah, okay, thank you. Um, nothing really, like... Nothing really, really. I mean, I could probably just... Grab these out on the... And swords, because they probably bring in some creatures to mess with my plan. Got our frog, or um, and you just sometimes just hit them on the uh, let me just hit them. You hit the uh, the whatchamacallit, they could turn one me, but that's fine. They can turn one me that I gotta let you have it. Okay, I'm just going to turn one Archon. I mean, that does turn off the Fable, but like, turn one Archon is just so hard for Doomsday. It really does mess with a lot of stuff. We would like to draw another something. White Mana Producer. Or actually, this would be... Oh, gosh. Um... Never mind, we're going like this. Well, this, they could counter this, but that's fine. They do have the Mox Sapphire, but like that's still kind of still kind of tough. It's okay, yeah. Like I don't know why you waited to do that. It's weird. It's also weird if you don't have a counter spell here. Okay. We could have us here. Um, what did they pitch? They pitched for some negation. Okay. I mean, maybe, maybe they had um. Yeah, probably should have been Archon there. I got a little greedy. I think mostly because they waited for the ancestral, right? Because like, generally, I'm not sure why you would wait on the ancestral. I mean, they got me there with that, I guess. So good on them. But like, I got I see no reason to wait for the ancestral there with the mock sapphire as well, especially. If they went, they could win this turn, most likely. Okay, yeah, I definitely need, should have done the Archon. No, you're absolutely right. Like, I should have gone for Archon. There's no question about it. No question about it. Should have gone for Archon. Fable's a little too slow against Doomsday. I probably don't need two swords. Yeah, so I've just gone for it. <laughs> I forgot to take out the gemstone. Womp womp. That's really bad. Jesus Christ, what is this hand? 
Oh, yeah, I could have won that one by doing out the, uh... Oh, yeah, that's right. That's what, two cards back? Oh, God. I'm not gonna win the same way. <laughs> oh, God. Um... Trinosphere and... I know... Yeah. Yeah. Maybe I should have kept both, uh, both of those lands, but I don't know. I feel like I'm going to have to draw. I mean, that was just like double mulligan and vintage with them keeping seven. Like, what do you, what do you do about that? Right. When, when they got a, uh, when they get the double. Okay. That's pretty good. Actually. Ooh, thanks for that sub. Yeah, they have another turn. They have another kill off the top. Then I just played poorly. I mean, I played poorly the game too. That's that's hundred percent on me. Um, they have a turn to kill off a seven of keep keeping seven on the draw. Turn to kill. Yeah, it seems less likely if they're going to drop underground sewers here, knowing how Doomsday tends to go, but. Not impossible. Not impossible. I hope that's very good for us, though. That's also good. Hey, hold on. We're going to Wizards instead. Do I have Wizards in my deck? Yeah, that's not. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Um, Warlock, Barbarian, no, there's no humans in. Yeah, okay. God damn it. Anyway. This should cause them lots of problems. That should be a big, big problem. That's a big problem for humans, eh? Is that unbeatable? But it is a big problem. Nice one. Clean up, nice one. I promise we're out of shit. So, yeah, you know, it's very, very hard, very hard to, uh, for humans to come back from this. One of the hardest things for them to beat. Like, they need basically their removal plus, um, Mox Jet right now. So, they need a scoop, so that's, you know, that's saying something, but... They have draws, I mean, we have to, like, a load is pretty amazing here. And that can help us a bit, like, that'll help us a little bit. Because, um, English words. Um, that'll help us a little bit, because they probably run a little bit of creatures. I think, like, throwing in one or something just to, like, block. They won't be drawing a shit ton of cards. They look brainstorm blocked, they didn't even draw any lands. Um, you know what? We have four mana. We're just going, we're going, we're going two, two beat down. Two, two beat down time. Exactly. <laughs> exactly, just fucking clock them. See, they're in the, they're in the um, shit, am I going to counter it? Yep, um, they got to counter it. That's not bad, that's pretty good for us, that's really good. That's basically saying we do not have anything to deal with your Nagus, so therefore I'm countering the Sinister Guys, so I hope to draw something. See, any creatures we draw now are just like, like, that's great, yes, please do that. Cycle Street Wraith. No lands whatsoever. That's good. Ancient Tomb is... I know we're Blacklist, we can cast Chains of Vanity. We can resolve Chains of Vanity, that's pretty fucking good. Again, Source of Posture is not going to be the greatest, but it does put them in awkward situations of like having... You have to empty your pile, and that's a lot harder when Nagus of Moon is out, so... Again, same. Now that just makes it even harder for you to deal with because now you have to get. Yep, yep, yep. All right. I would love to see that used on those. That's fine. You're clocking me. You're. It's not th that's English words I'm speaking. Um, you're doing the clock for me. I mean, obviously they can have some things. But Magus is just such a beating for so many vintage decks. It really is. Um, I mean, the problem is, of course, is that like. They have a lot more power plays that are just really, really good for them, you know? We are ripping some good draws, though, so I'm not going to complain a lot. Are we at seven mana here? If they get rid of the Magus, I want to. Four, five, six, seven, yeah. It's not uncounterable, but it's a... All right, now they are have to... Um... Now they have to win this turn, basically, because Doomsday is, uh... Yeah, no, this is not... This is one reason to run, um... Um... Sure, why not? This is a reason, for sure, to run, um... Dismember against these kind of decks. Right? Because we did a lot more than four damage with the Magus of the Moon. 
No, I'm happy. I'm very happy with how this turned out. I thought I was um, in big trouble. And I did cause big trouble for myself by, uh... Yep, got there. Um, by not going Archon. I should, definitely should have let on Archon. Just, I know, knowing myself how goddamn hard Archon is for Doomsday, the fact that I didn't cast Archon was just 100% silly on me. Dingus Khan. That name sounds familiar. I definitely played them recently. <laughs> yeah, I mean, not, uh, not the worst. Keep that. We got the Fable. Are we going to get them on the... Uh... Mox off the top would be amazing. The problem is there's only two Moxes. So, not really great. But a mox off the top would be nice. This list does run a little few too many moxes, I think. If I made any edit, I'd probably throw in more moxes. We do have chrome mox. I mean, all right, yeah, technically we have the full set of we have the full set of moxes because we're playing chrome moxes and mana crypt and lotus. So there's like there's enough artifact mana. I think we can draw something, but. Chromox would be blue, blue. Well, yeah, I'd always sell it for Lotus. Chromox would be amazing though, because um, we can just because Chromox you love in this deck because uh, Chancellor of the Annex, right? White. So this is a are they playing the mirror? Oh, hey yo! Not the mirror, but is it mono white? Magus value goes down, Trinitary value goes way down. Um, yeah, Fable seems to be the plan. Or, never mind. Or, yes, mind. Okay. Okay. Or, human, right? Yeah, human for sure, and then um, steal the initiative. I am the initiative now. And I want white, yeah, because of uh, Magus. I mean, obviously, like, not too big of a deal for them, but, um, well, how much money do we have next year? One, two, three, four, potentially just three. Still, um, Trinistria doesn't do a whole lot. Oh, we know they have planes, right? Yeah. I think is if they have, uh, the four mana, we're not beating that, I don't think, right? I don't think we're beating, um... The dungeon here. Oh, that's fine. I'm just gonna crack that. Draw a card. What? Oh, fuck me. No, oh, never mind. Mm-hmm. That's not good. One, two, three, four five not great because we don't really have any big so we really want a um ancient tomb here if we get ancient tomb we can drop fable and magus which lets us that's hard to do anything i mean because like this is the problem with the initiative is that like now like we're kind of locked into just like never getting the initiative back because of how white bloom works hey oh that's gonna get countered by that that sucks ass Um, hold on. I need to draw a card here. Okay, that'll do.
Oh, wait, that's the human creatures. God damn it. God damn it, Eric. Whatever. We'll play that next turn. I fucked up. I fucked up. Oh, another wasteland. And we're dead, though. Right? I can't come back from this. That Lotus came at a bad time. Caracas. Just have another one? Archon. I mean, Archon is gonna s not the best or worst thing here, but it's gonna be a, uh, able to steal the initiative for them. So that's not good. Why does White Bloom Adventure exist? It is such a bad card for the format. For any format. For Magic in general. I hate the card. Hey yo, that can not do much here. Um. Well, actually, we can play this, but it won't steal the initiative. All right, so we need to steal the initiative here. So that's fine, I suppose. Steal the init back. We're only at six, though. That's not great. Forge, yeah, we need to make this a five five. We could play this as a the land, but it doesn't really do much for me, does it? Yeah, I can't see us winning this one. I'm trying to think, but I don't think this one's going to turn out good. Because the Archon's going to just uh, get us. And uh, that's pretty much it, right? They do have one card in hand, but... I guess in this matchup, we're just going to throw in swords and ch swords, chalice. That's it for the side, right? Young PZ, thank you very much. Jeez. How's everybody doing? I'm playing creature decks. I'm not good with creature decks. Why do creature decks exist? They're just confusing and scary. That's bad, actually. That's really bad. Because now we can't really, um... They're going to play the... It's going to go to the... Ugh. ugh eh. Alright. Yeah, that's really bad for us. That's no good, boss. That's no good. That is going to be, as they say, a late game, right? There's not really much we can do there. We ripped the Lotus after the bobble was screwing with us, so it's like, eh, not good. Um, They get to untap their Archon. So stupid. Right? Like, if the Archon, if the White Plume just untapped itself, right? Before you did the, uh, you know, the thing, like maybe you'd be a little less broken. It was absolutely nutcakes. <laughs> they can untap anything. It really hurts my soul deeply. I don't know why I still complain about these design mistakes, but that's me. That's amiibos. What do you got? Yay, I get to untap my creatures because I don't know why. Uh, really, what I drew there was a uh, Simeon Spirit Guard, hey? Alright, that's a. Uh... You're gonna call that a scoop. I don't know if I played that poorly or if I just went on too weak of a hand. Maybe it was too weak of a hand. Chalice. Yeah, that was just a scoop, unfortunately. Um, is there anything else that goes in besides these? Containment Priest can probably stop the initiative thing going on, but... <sighs> Hagen does. See, we always said Raisin Bran back in my day when I was playing as a weird teenager. We said Hagen does. We did not, we did not say Hagen does. We said, um... Don't love Magus here. Cause like they play lots of basics. I mean maybe it's okay-ish on the uh play to get a little bit of juice, but like I'd probably take them all out on the draw. 
Um, stony, I don't know. Containment Priest is interesting because it stops the initiative shit, but no, nah, let's just go like this. This could be wrong, but I'm definitely, I, I, I know how to side against Doomsday because I play Doomsday a lot, but um, hello. Oh, that's gross. That is gross. Yeah, but it was called winning um, Raisin Brain. You know, just two scoops. God, we were so cool. <coughs> I'll pick that up later. I'm putting together uh, another old school deck. I just got my play set of... Uh, I forget the name of the, this in um, Winds of Change. That's right. That's the English name. Winds of Change. Just black bordered, four black bordered. Because this is a one. Da, da, da. This is a turn two Chancellor of the Annex, which I kind of like. So I'm going to keep that. Not going to complain about that. But yeah, a uh, if they play their own chancellor, it's gonna be a little more iffy on us. But um, okay, no, they did not. So um, I like it. White plume. Get a plains mountain. Doesn't really matter, does it? We have white man out the booty. Let's get a mountain. I mean, we're gonna either one. Have the mountain, sure. Um, I guess I play the Lotus now just in case of, um, yeah, just in case they have, um, thing, vexing bobble. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. But yeah, I like, um, yeah, play that mox into that. That's fine by me. Hope that was your plan. Which is a fine plan, you know, if you don't need it. But I would hate it. I mean, not going to complain, but I would hate it if it was the fact that they just missed the fact that the Chancellor Trigger was there. Because it's easy to miss on Emma. It really is. It's unfortunate, but it is. Because it's just not well designed. Yep, they missed it. They did not see the trigger. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm going to just take out Chalice for um, Gemstone. Take out Bubles for um, Containment Priest. I mean, Containment Priest is just Flash Creature, right? You can Flash Block or Flash something. I can stop them from doing the thing. Yeah, I don't know. It seems okay. It seems like it'll do work, so like... It's so easy to miss. I really hate it. It's so... It just pops up in the thing. Like, I mean, I have gotten... I don't want to say good at it but i have gotten better at not missing it this is a turn one steal the initiative i don't even think it shows up in the log does it hold on maybe does it it does it does show up in the log you're correct there's something i mean the log is not perfect that's unfortunate because like the, it does i mean you can see here it'll be in the uh upper thing here for your opponent or down here for you. The log does not show everything. Like I don't trust the log because like there's just some things that the log does not tell you about. Yeah, just so many things that the log misses or God. I mean, I am not a perfect programmer by any sense of the word. And I know I am not saying that the MO folk are not fucking worked crazy. But I very much would, um, God name it. I very much would, um, I very much would, um, love to code MO and just like, like redesign so many of the things in it. 
because there's so many things that like like as a programmer it is interesting to me the problems that mo has right like i would if i had the money to just buy <laughs> oh that's fine though we're just going to um Actually, that's all right. Yep, here we go again. Chaos okay, Cave Adventure. Boom, boom. And we need, we have white, we need red. All right, cool. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the vlog was really, really verbose. Verbose, but like, I mean, there are things I think it could do better. Um, I mean, I just, there's just so many things that you could do with the log. Um, I would actually have it be really, um, really condensed, but hover over it and it gets verbose then, right? I would like the idea of it, you know, like not showing you everything so you can actually quickly see lots of stuff but you can hover over it like i would love it if this if, even if it just literally just like did like um text files where like it just scrolls over all the way and you can just hover on the thing to see the full line like that would be much more helpful because then you like would cut down so much stuff um that's really bad that's really really bad um I would really like the time not shown there, um, unless on hover over, right? There's just so many. This is just this is too stupid. I hate this so much. Thor's to Pasharas, goddamn, we lost. Our IP. Rip. What's the what's the what's the Twitch thing? The kids love the ripperonies. Jesus Christ. Yeah, that, that term one vexing bubble was just so fucking juicy for them. Right? Like I almost should have just... Um... <laughs> Shit, I'm fucked. There it is, the ripperoni. I mean, I'm just like, so... Like, this is just like... It was just a perfect example of how bad design this is because like like look at this i just couldn't do shit right it's just like turn one turn two i right, turn one turn two turn three like and now i'm pretty much dead with the inability to i can't block as well it's just like such it doesn't belong on single player magic one-on-one -on -one magic and i will yell about in the ship until the day i die we're gonna go down to one that's amazing I put in, um, source postures, right? All right, good. Can we draw them? Can't use this. God, Jesus Christ. They have swords. Why does that? <laughs> we just, draw... we just drew both fucking. Actually, no, I get to discard these, actually. Hold on. Yeah. I do have a bunch of draws here, actually, so that's pretty good. So that's good. Um, yes. One, two. It does suck that we literally drew... Hey, oh, baby, darling, stuff. I mean, this is not good by any stretch of the imagination. Actually, hold on. We might, we might, we might, we might, we we might. I mean, they have swords, so like that's not good for us because this is gonna flip and be summoning sick. I guess I should have stolen the initiative. I guess I could have gone. No, I would be dead though, right? Because I don't have an untapper. Yeah. See, I think it's dumb because, like, it just leads to non-magic, right? Like, what are you putting that on? 
Which one gets it? You're targeting this with it? All right, so we can um, swords that, right? And then they have swords though, so they're just swords are thing. Right? Well, actually, this is fine, I suppose. Yeah, the swords are 2 2. Not great. Um, I'm going to draw a card here. I really need a. Uh, The other swords. So I just grab the initiative again, go to the throne of the. Oh, they didn't. All right, cool. This flips and the hell yo. All right. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't want to do that. We're just dead though, right? <laughs> um, counter spells are interaction. There is no interaction to be done in this. You can't interact with the initiative. You can't interact with it. There's nothing you can interact with. Because the entire deck is based around not giving you the chance to interact with it. Doomsday, you can do so many things to stop Doomsday. And I am not pl actively playing cards that stop you from playing the game. Whereas Initiative does. So that's my opinion on that. Yeah, Counterspell, sure. You can Counterspell, that's fine. That's, that's a cost. Right? You can um, wipe the fucking board and the Initiative is still ticking. Every single turn. And then you know you just can't you can't do shit, which sucks, right? So, um, this um this sucks on eighty different levels, doesn't it? God damn it! I have to mold this, right? Like if I just had one other, like it's just the two colored spells is just bad, right? It doesn't matter. It, I mean, it doesn't matter because it, if you steal the initiative, it doesn't matter because their deck is based around just taking the initiative back. Like, it, they'll just play the initiative, like, twice in the same turn. Like, it just literally does not matter. It's just that's... It's that fucking broken. Like, you can wipe the board... You can steal the initiative and they just, okay, untap, play their initiative creature and just take it. There's just so many problems with it. Um, it's just badly designed for single player. It really needed to be um, eroded, but they'll never do that. But um, it could be okay, but it's not. Right, it's just like, it just... Like, the biggest problem with the initiative in one-on-one, -on -one, and I really think that it should be routed for one-on-one, -on -one, is that when you get the initiative, whenever you get the initiative, you proceed through the dungeon. That's the problem. If you proceeded during your upkeep, right, if every single upkeep is when you proceeded, then we have less of a problem here. Are we playing Doomsday again? No, we're playing against Laris. Um... Right, they're gonna, did they get, not gonna get here. This removal spell? You don't have blue. Did you get a frog? That'd be hilarious. Um, right, if the initiative, for one-on-one, -on -one, and I'm, I'm not stressing this because I don't know about EDH, I don't care about EDH, but in, if initiative one-on-one, -on -one, right, right, if, if it just was when you get the initiative, you have quote-unquote the initiative, and the initiative is during your upkeep, proceed through this specific dungeon, cool. Right, but the fact that it, it gets there 
and you just push through it. It's just, it's too fast. And there's no, like, you just have to, I don't know. It's just a different game. And I know it sounds like I'm whining. Maybe I am, but it just really does feel like you're playing a completely different game than, um, than magic, the gathering with the initiative. And there's some good things about that, like Dredge, right? Like, yeah, Dredge is a different game. But like, I don't know, Dredge, like, you're interacting, right? It's weak against the graveyard, right? There's really no weak against token. Bam, straight. I don't know what you're on, but you're Luris. Um, I'll take that, though. And that's just my problem with the initiative. Um, I really should stop bitching about it because no one cares. I mean, no one, no one cares, right? So it's like, what are you going to do? But um, but that's just my problem with it, really. Is um, you know, is that it just doesn't feel like magic? Like it's it's better than the monarch, and the monarch is drawing a card, but like, you know. It's just so stupid and good that it's just really very hard to uh, deal with. Um, pretty sure it's actually probably pretty good against them. What do I not like against this? You know, and I, I mean, I think that kind of a ride is not bad because nothing on the initiative says anything what take the initiative means, right? If take the initiative means literally I have control of the initiative. That's fine by me, but just the whole considering to proceed <clears throat> is just too much for, uh, I think it's just too much. Not even that the decks are too powerful, it's just that, like, it's too, I don't know, it's just too bad feeling gameplay. I just don't like the way it feels. Um, what do I want to cut here? I mean, I, I could be wrong, you know, I'm, I know people probably don't agree with me on that. Do I really want Stunning Silence? Why not? Oh, Fragment Ties for sure, because that'll get rid of those sagas, though, right? Yeah. Um, I don't want to trim, though. I'll trim two fables. Seems a little not so great against Luris, especially on the draw. I blind, blind kept that without even thinking, but <laughs> I'm just going to keep this. I was talking so much I didn't even think, but that's actually not too bad. Um, if we draw a three drop, we're really nice. I'll just play Basic Mountain, sure. You can play, oh no, you don't have a do you? No! I'm not that's fine. Don't have a, uh, Actually, no, not off the play of it. God damn it. It's really bad. Okay, never mind. Never mind the bollocks. <laughs> Dak. No. Dak, why you do that to me? Bruh. I believe the children would say bruh to that. Okay, all right, we're getting closer. I want you to waste on my Sunbit Canyon. It literally did the thing I do want them to do. Now, if we were to land, we are in business. And by business, I mean casting a Cascade Adventure once and then losing our Sunbit Canyon. Land, please! I mean, ah, oh, you, oh, you're so clever. You're making me do this now. Instead of discarding a card, I will um discard a card. Sure. I have to discard two cards. What the fuck? All right, Chromox, go away. Both of you. You're both banned. I hate you, Chromox. Motherfucker, though. Do you have no plan other than like vexing Bobble? Like, where are your cards? Play something. You got nothing, you bruh.
Like, what is your hand? Like, what is your plan with your hand? I guess you could have a force or something. <laughs> I think bubble should be restricted, um, but I love restrictions. I'm a big restriction boy. So, um, yeah, fatal push. Cool. Oh, or not. What you got? I'm big lover of restrictions, though. I want everything restricted. Give me restrictions. Daddy wants some restrictions. Mm -mm -mm. Thank you. And now you're going to what? Oh, thank you. I'll cut them off of some mana. Probably greedy, but I feel like being greedy. Someone says grief is good. Greed is good. What do I like about restrictions? I just like the um, I like the texture it adds to the game about having um, cards. You know, you just can't just have four of them. You can you have to think about like you know what different slots get used. I mean, I don't want every single card to be restricted. That's EDH. And that's boring. But I think restrictions are interesting because they 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 affect your deck building. Are you digging? Alaris in hand. Alaris in hand. I need a good mana. Hello. Hello, my baby. Hello, my darling. Hello, my draw these cards. Shoop, shoop. Don't force it. God damn it. I think restriction puts a little bit of respect on a card and it puts a respect on the card in the way that you have to think about how you play them and how you deck build them. Um, playing in like the four in an era of four missteps it was kind of just like boring right it's just i messed up i messed up i messed up but like but like with only one misstep right with with certain cards when there's only one of them then you really are different you're in a different sense of like how do i play this like when do i use this is it okay for me to use this here right i think it's an interesting demand dynamic that happens to the uh the cards Now it's not every interesting if everything is restricted. Like games like EDA are just boring as shit. Um, opinion, I know, sue me. But um I do think they're things. So I mean I'm not like I do like to juggle well, some things, but like I did prefer when Ponder was um restricted. Like it's good for Doomsday that Ponder's unrestricted. I'm not gonna complain about it. But I did enjoy playing it more. I did enjoy it more when Ponder is restricted because that meant you had to play different cantrips. And just, are you really just having all them fatal pushes, eh? Mm, not good. Um, so yeah, I think it's, I just think it's interesting. I think it is interesting and I think it changes the dynamic and the texture of the game. And they're gonna be drawing lots of cards every single turn. Like I really want Luris banned again because it is the only played companion right if we had if, if 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 they printed other companions that were vintage playable that's awesome i would like that but the fact there's really only one vintage playable command i mean not commander um no my love again you know um there's only one vintage playable only one vintage playable companion kind of ruins it. It's kind of not unexciting, right? It's just like, okay, you either don't have the extra card in hand or you have Loris. That's the only, that's your choices, right? Um, and I don't like that. That's boring. Um, I would, you know, much prefer there be a little bit of variety. So please print more companions. I was I was genuinely shocked when M20 was that that year? I think it was, right? Yeah. Or M21. I think it was M21, right? Yeah. When that set didn't have companions, I was actually kind of shocked. I was like, huh. I figured that would also have companions. Um I might regret this, but I might not. I think it's not good for the game that there is only one playable companion. 
um, and vintage at least, right? Well, no, I mean, <laughs> I mean, zero or many, right? Like, I'm fine with them just getting rid of Lurus and let's pretend companions never happened. But if we are going to live in a Lurus world, right? If we're going to live in a Lurus world, like, give me more Lurises, right? Like, I don't know what to say, right? I mean, give me more playable, like, Lurus level, right? Companions. Give me some vintage playable companions. Or ban Lurus, right? I just, like, I just don't like, I don't like the, um, the lack of, lack, the lack is basically what it is. It's the lack. Um, what you going to do? Chrome Box is, uh, I can't play Chrome Box here, right? Yeah. How much is this? Seven, one, two, three, four. Yeah. What are you going to do with this? I mean, yeah, like Luris has building restrictions, but not really because you can play Force of Will. Right, like all you really have to do is look at um the other, the mana locked um companion. What was that one? Um, Karuga. All right, to see like oh that they actually did that right, you know. But we don't errata in paper magic, so you get fucked, <laughs> right? So I don't know. Am I whining too much? Maybe a little bit, but I don't think of it as whining. I just think of having an opinion and um, stating it. And I like stating my opinions. I don't like, you know, like a, that's, I think opinions are cool. I like having them. Yeah, I wasted that on the uh, mocks, but I also didn't think they would uh, develop it. You know, I mean, I I like talking, as people may or may not understand and believe. Um, I'm a talky boy. The cycle on that type of I'll draw a card next turn, thanks to the initiative. So I can't really afford I mean I can attack with this, right? Yeah. Let's draw this card first and see what we get. Juicy. Oh damn. One, two, three, four, five, six. I think we attack with everything here, right? Yeah. I mean, yeah, but it's like the same thing as us. Like, your choices are... Um, uh oh, look at me. <laughs> I mean, the Magus straight up kills, like... Yeah, I think the Magus, right? Magus? Chancellor? No, Magus locks us down, right? Boom, goodbye sagas. I mean, they have white still, but like... That's still pretty beefy, right? Like wiping out two of their lands and their search. Yeah, I think that was worth it. Oh, hell yeah, we did. <laughs> oh, no. Pre-Nerf Lurus was just dumb. It was just 100% dumb. I mean, I think you could basically... Pre-Nerf Lurus, I mean, I don't know if anyone really did the math. I think pretty much you just wanted to mull to Lotus. And like... If you had Force and mull to Lotus, like that was pretty much it. Counterspell and Lotus. I was just like, all right, get fucked. This is a little slow, so I should probably mull this. I'm on the play. Yeah, we can go grosser than this. Like this. This is gross. Yes. Keep. This is a gross hand. 
Which one do I want to play though? Magus or Trinosphere? Trinosphere fucks them up more. I can play Magus next turn. And then really beat their shit. Yeah. I mean, if they counter this, then we have Magus next turn as well. All right, boom. Turn one, transfer. It's restricted. Cast the restricted card. Yeah, I tried listening to some um, old school podcasts, and I got really creepy vibes from it. I won't say which ones, but I did get just the vibes of like, they were not good vibes for me. Oh, gosh. Oh, baby. All right. I mean, yeah. I guess if they counter this, then... um. If they counter this, then um, they can't actually. So never mind. You know, basic, basic island, cool. All right, that's fair. Still gonna be harder for you to cast shit, and um, yeah, you'll don't deal here. Um, so that. Oh, it's okay. Oh, um, no right here because we need more mana now but um them getting out oath will be really really bad for us I need some white mana ponder I mean three mana ponder I'm not going to complain about right well not complain about three mana for your ponders um but I'm very lucky with my community in Japan. I really am. I love the people that I play with. And um I think it's really nice. And oh shit, yeah, this is great. And we get the white. I mean, I don't know if this is locked in, but I think this build is pretty good. Time walk? Recall. I mean, okay. Yeah. Recall's pretty good for you. Might get some stuff. Um, We're going to forge the shit out of... What does Atraxa have? What's that Atraxa? Ugh. I don't know. Whatever. Let's just put it on. If they get Atraxa out, we're just fucked anyway. So it doesn't really matter, does it? Actually, I think we might just win here. So who cares? Alright, do we win here? Not quite. Trap. They do go to one. So not quite winning. Yeah, Trinus here was definitely the right thing. Let's restrict your card play. Um Okay. Non I mean we definitely want containment priest against them. Um, Witch Enchanter can kill their things. Magus of the Moon really fucks them. We are still a creature deck, though. Um, which is not great against that, but... Oh, yeah, we need Fragmentizing. Like, yeah, we want the actual removal shit here. Um, like, this, most of this is for that deck. Well, so this is for that, I suppose, yeah. Um, but, 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 uh, Maga seems good. Fable seems a little loose. I could be wrong. But I'm thinking of one of the heavier casting cost ones. But I just love playing in Japan. It's really great. Like, I played in the States when I was a kid and even as a kid it was just like the thing the shit that people say to people is just so gross um I mean I like this fragmentizing mana boost but we can do better than this right yeah we have so many good rips here I think I'm gonna keep this actually We have so many good rips, and we have the fragmentize as well, which is good, so. Alright, fuck me. Ba 
I got so much um emotional and like uh, just abuse as a kid from um from people and like it just was gross how like you know even in the magic communities how much shit people said you know just was not cool <laughs> really was not I mean, it wasn't just magic it was sports sports was the word was much worse than magic as far as verbal abuse from people went just the nasty the people just say the nastiest shit to the kids when you play sports like things adults grown adults said to me as a kid who was not good at sports is just still i just still think it's, it's unbelievable unbelievably gross the shit people would say it's terrible it's really bad Isn't America awesome? Not just America, obviously. There's many countries with problems like that. But that was, you know, the 90s especially, though. In the 90s, weird time. I mean, every time is a weird time, I suppose. But, like... Growing up in the 90s felt weird. Because, like, if you were just not in a bucket, man, you just did not, you know. Oh, the Druid Tank. I mean, it's your only spell, right? I don't know why you tapped out like that. I think times being a sorcery is kind of unfortunate, but, um... Please? Okay. It'd be kind of hard to get through there here. Cause this is, we need an initiative creature real bad. We really need an initiative creature. One of those though, we're fucking... Oh. Initiative creature or Magus again would also really lock us on pretty good. If they have another oath... Lawler cakes. There's like two or th there's like a few things we could draw here that'd be really good. And that's not one of them. Ooh, they have the force for that. That's gross. Okay. Not gonna be good here, that's for sure. Um, we need swords now, and we need we need that initiative creature a little bit before. Um, I probably lost this one. Um, I'm gonna say it's really bad. Oh yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, that's pretty much why they bounce the bounce the arc on there, but um. What did they get? Uh, see, this is this sucks. Like, ah, right, fuck. I'm just don't even, don't even want to bother with that. I don't even want to think about what they got. Like the re whole revealed thing too is really messy, and I'm all, I'm not sure there's much better ways to do it, but but um, I don't even know how to re-sideboard for this. Is Ark kind of even that really great against them? Probably kind of good. Witch Enchant. I don't know. How do I re sideboard? That's what I'm not sure about here. Yeah. Or like just something like. I Again, like right click on this and like set as view or like many different things. Which is like like just what they chose is like not really like you don't get to I don't know. There's so many things. I have no idea how to sideboard here. This is really rough. Um
This Chas isn't actually that good against them. Could do a little bit, but I think the ball is fine. Just want a big popping first turn hand, right? I feel like I'm totally sideboarding this wrong. But again, going back to what I was saying about how just like I would have a field day, like there's so many ideas to coding for MO. So. Hey, yo. Boom. Cast. Cast is that. On that. On this. And again, we're back into that we need to rip something good, but like. And we have a pretty, I think a decently strong start. And that's not the best, but like. What do you have from this? I mean, yeah, I think Archon here is going to be great. Slow them down a little bit. Did you really have to pay the uh, two life there? Hey, oh. We really need to draw. Ugh, yeah, this is just thing that's just not. I just have a feeling they have, um, I have a feeling they have oath in hand and we're just in trouble, right? We have some rips, we have some potential rips, right? Like we're not 100% dead. We have lots of outs actually to attract to an oath here, right? But if we don't draw them, oh my gosh, that's so good. <laughs> we draw one more white mana and we're in good position. And if they have another oath, not so good. But I kind of need Oko, right? Oko or oath? See, we drew it. We drew something. We have the cards. We're playing the cards to deal with the deck. So, like, you know, you do that and then. And you're in Happy Town, right? Uh oh. Then them not casting anything there is pretty big. It's juicy. And that's also very good for us. Yeah, bounce. That is fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's your one spell per turn, right? You're at eight, and we actually have eight. <laughs> I even liked in the Flood Maw Doomsday with Doomsday playing frogs. 
because um, I like playing Chain of Vapor, but the problem with Chain of Vapor with frogs is that they just can sack a land to bounce your frog, and that's not great. Um, so if Doomsday is playing permanence, I do like Into the Flood Maw for that, but otherwise I love Chain of Vapor in, in Doomsday because it is just a, it's just a nice answer to anything. Damn, we are actually gonna we gonna three one here. Like we only missed Oko, Time Walk, Flash. I mean, they still get the cards, but like, that's just <laughs> they still get the cards. But um, I think they still get the cards, right? Yeah. Or is it if it would enter? I forget. I forget exactly. How it is. Would enter? Yeah. So it never enters. <laughs> yeah. No, that's right. Look, I don't play creatures. I I don't know everything. If it would enter, yeah, replacement effect. Replacement effects are good, ain't they? They're just so good. I caught my, <laughs> I caught myself. So that was nice and juicy. That was fun to get them like that. Damn, we three won! Yeah. No disrespect to a three one. No hate for a three one. Happy about that. Who, me play creature decks? I don't know creatures. What the fuck do I know about creatures? The only creature I play says you win the game. <laughs> See, and that's that's the fun thing about this is that I'm so bad with turn creature sideways decks, I'm still beating with initiative. That's just how damn good it is. Are the other moxes in here? I should. Here we go. Yeah. And I only pull these up because I think they're really cute. There's the. Um. Ba -ba 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 -ba. This is lacking in stuff, isn't it? Mud again, right? Yeah, we have to mold this, unfortunately. Um. This I like. We keep. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's a companion. What could it be? Oh, it's Luris. Of course, it's Luris. It's everybody's favorite companion. It's Luris. Oh, thank you. They love my videos. And they got beef. They got Tommy Owo. Got killed. Hey yo. They love my videos. I'm very happy to see that. All oh. I'm no Justin, but people do watch me, I guess. People do. They do the do. They know that Eric does the vintage sometimes. Time walk. <laughs> so maybe they did the Tommyo on purpose. I don't know. Um, I don't want to get wastelanded. Please don't wasteland me. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Hum. Hum to me. Uncounterable humans.
Ancestral? Dress down. Shit. All right, that's fine. I mean, it's not good, but at least I have a 5-3. I get a fable next turn. Fable and play land, draw land. Actually, no, I can't. I cannot. I need that red mana. Shit, dicks, balls. I really need that mana. I mean, I could, but I just want to draw that card because, like, yeah. You know. I wanted to crack that real soon. Oh, I don't like that Lotus. No, sorry. Oh, there's Moxin coming. Are they putting Luris in the hand? And it's block, block, block. block me gently. Them blue cards do some value, don't they? Them blue cards in their value, eh? Oh, you're going to turn off my uncounter abilities, eh? Right. Mm -hmm. On the one hand, Fable seems... Hold on. No, we attack first, right? For sure, yeah, okay. Maybe we don't. Now we attack. You may play that card, right? So the land. Okay. I kind of wanted to crack that lotus, but I think this is a little juicier because, like, we need red mana, right? Yeah. Now we have this red mana for the Fable next turn. I don't know, maybe the Fable going would have been better. Are they going to cycle a... Not oh, they're just cycling the Barbell. Meaning they didn't have... I don't know what it means, actually. I don't know if that means anything, because like, if they had a Force for the White Plume, right? Why not crack that and then Force it? That means they have something they just don't care? Or, um... They could cast Luris here if they have a more man. Uh, maybe that's what they were going for. Because they can cast. Yeah, okay. Put Luris in hand. Or play Psychic Frog. All right, that's fair. Long goodbye. Yeah, that also does stuff. They're missing mana though. That's pretty good for us. Um, five cards in hand. They would have to discard a good chunk of them. They would have to discard what this but five. They have to discard four cards in hand to like make this kill us. Yeah. So I think that's fine. Yeah. Oh hey oh. Now I am the one with the bobble. Cool, cool, cool. Do I want to do the... Yeah, I think I do. No, I think I do want this, though. Because even if they steal the initiative, we can take it back, yeah. I once again forgot about the cave. Of the Chaos Adventurer's ability, but whatevs. Boom! All right, I'll take that. That's a that's a seven five trampler. Burp, 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 burp. What was that card going to be? How bad did I misplay? I will never know. Thank you, Emma. All right. Anyway, Lord, am I on a four one? That seems nuts. Um, Gemstone Caverns. This on that. That's not probably great, but on the draw. I mean, the transfer is pretty good. 
even on the draw, so like. I've been cutting Bob, I've been putting Fable a lot just because I don't, it just seems a little slow. So, one thing I have not really liked, I mean, I, I see what it would do with this deck because it just jukes your initiative to 12, bypassing 11 entirely, but, um, damn, this is like. No, we can't keep this, right? Can we? It seems too slow. This is not keepable, right? <laughs> Let me think about this again. So what's making me think about I can keep this? I mean, I just need to hit like a mox or, um, but if they have a bobble, then we're fucked. We're hitting a mox. We do have several moxes in the deck though, and they might not hit the bobble. Um... I know I can get them all that. All right, this is a little bit better. Yeah, okay. This can be a turn one um, Archon with a turn two Magnus coming out, which seems pretty fucking powerful. Yeah. I don't hate this. That seems a little bit better than the last plan of maybe casting spells. All right, this is not great for us, but like... Hmm. We still get to do this though, right? We could easily have push or something. Um, the wasteland, I don't quite like that, but then... Like, this deck can get stuck on mana. I don't... Oh, shnikes. All right, there you go. You're a little stuck on mana, right? You're a little stuck on the mana. I mean, Wasteland is not great either. So that's fine. If we hit another Mox, it's beautiful. Or an Ape. God, I'd love an Ape. All right, no, that's fair. Like, I like that a lot. Um... Again, we're in the situation of we really want to hit a, um, whatchamafucket? Are they gonna... Soul Rend? So, here's my gut instinct. Um, five cards. I'm going to Swords my own thing. So, they don't get to draw a card. Common possum. They do have that black from the jet, which is really, really big. Um, but now we're kind of ah, right, there we go. Now we're kind of locked them in pretty good, right? They could have orcs. Here come the orcs. All right. Yep. But I have another one, so. It's kind of okay. Do I wish I kept that, um, that the, the, having the jet is just so good for them. Do I kind of wish I kept the uh, swords in my hand now? I ain't too much, I suppose. Like, we could, if we get like the uh, witch, that'd be really good. Witch would be really nice here. Can I keep attacking with a thing? I might have to sit back unless I get like a. Uh, that's not good. I think I just have to. I just think I just have to. Yeah. I have to be carrot cautious here. I can't afford it. They could have another work. They did. Oh no! Long goodbye. Never mind. 
Now we're in bad territory. That's extra bad territory. They didn't even need the kill the thing for that to work. They are the cavern are sold back up though, so that's cool. We just need to rip an actual creature. <laughs> did I misplay that? I mean, I did put a lot in swords. Yeah, maybe the swords were not good, but oh, interesting. Okay. Um, I'm kind of okay with that, right? Oh, that's all right. That's good. We have another archon now. Cool. I mean, they could easily have like um more removal. They have seven cards in hand to our nuns. That's really, really bad. Really, really bad. I need to rip an initiative creature. Initiative creature would be really important here. This will also do, because this really um, says, fuck you. Goodbye, here's the saga. That's pretty important. And Archon flies. Whoops, the doodles. Shame about that. So yeah, only two Swords of Last Shares wasting one on my own Archon seems kind of bad, but, you know. Ooh, are they gonna dress down here? We're drowning in the loch. Was not expecting that. I'm gonna, not gonna lie. Not expecting that. Them having on color is pretty fucking goddamn good. <laughs> cannot, cannot say anything other than that that's pretty fucking good that they have the on colors. Um, The basic island rip. And the Mox Jet. That Mox Jet is really carrying them and might even win them the game. Can't cast that. Mm, yeah, I really need initiative hit. I didn't think I signed it out to Fables, right? Oh god, that's not good. More Orkies. Alright, well, I mean. What can you do? Ah, it just catches the... Tommy just catches that all day. I'm like... Boop, boop, boop. You can't cast another spell. You can... Do other things, but you cannot cast a spell. Tommy is your only spell. If it's an instant, you can do it to me on my turn, and I will not like it. You can't... Oh, that's a tap land. Okay. Hello. There we go. That's what we wanted to see. Is that means they get to steal it, though. But I do get my red land. And, um... No, no. They have to tag with all three of these. That's, yeah. That flips Tommy off. Actually, it's more than fair because I'm going to fucking kill Tommy now. Because you can't plus her. And you must flip her. And you can't cast any more spells. So, yes, you're going to steal the initiative. That I... Fine. Right? Because we have to kill Tommy here. I don't know, but I don't feel like that was great for them. They will steal the initiative for one turn. Um, we have to attack here, though, right? Because otherwise, Tommy was going to fuck with us too much. So I guess that's kind of okay. But goodbye, Tommy. -o. Now we're at the cross our fingers and pray kind of step this turn. This is a weird turn here. I'm not really entirely sure what... I mean, they have five cards.
The fact that we were able to get anywhere here is kind of wild. But I will take it 100 days of the week. Um, another Tamiyo. Okay, that's, that's okay. Yeah, are you going to steal my initiative? You do have to swing with an orc and the army token, though. Which it's probably worth losing. It's probably worth losing an orc. They did not think it was worth losing an orc. All right. Let's see what they do this turn. I mean, if you have removal for the archon, that's not good for me. But I'm not in a great position anyway. So like. Hey, yo. Slap. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. Ah, that's kind of sucky. Um, This is uncounterable though, so. Yes! <laughs> Four one with this crazy ass deck. Oh my God. That felt really fucking good. And the only loss was the uh, initiative matchup. Um, that was a fun deck. I really, really, really give it to them. Um, that was a fun, fun deck. That was, um, that was, yeah, um, Heft uh, gave me that donation deck list, and it was fun. I really enjoyed it. Thank you very much, Heft. That was a delight to play. Um, not my style of deck, but, um, yeah. Um, the only thing I didn't really like was Fable. Um, I see the power, but it's a little slow, I feel like, maybe. Um, so I don't know, like, if there's anything else, like, you could put in place. Like, I think you want a good solid three drop. I don't really know, but, like, that was really fun to play. Um, I had a good time. I had a good time. Uh, Cave that have... Caves of Chaos Adventure having trample is just fucking, like, boom. It just, like, fucking fuck shit up. Um, the Wish Enchanter was great. I mean, I know I know regular Nit plays it, but it still was, was really great. And, um, yeah, 4-1. I mean, that was fun. That was fun. I, I really liked playing that. And um, yeah, the only loss was initiative. And I think that's or kind of a slightly slightly worse initiative. I don't even want to say worse, but like a slightly since it's a different initiative deck, right? Um, they just had more initiative creatures, the easily castable ones that just chunked up faster. And maybe I misplayed against them, but it was really it was really tough. So anyway, as I always do, I will open up my chest because you always open your chest. Because fuck not opening your chests. Let's go. How many do we get here? 108 new items. Anything good? Oh, I'm all your chunkiest shit. Um, hell yeah. 95 play points. That's almost another league. Uh, um, and absolutely shit. Nothing. Oh, Steam Flogger boss. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Always open. Um, <laughs> oh, Tidebender actually. The how much Tidebender dropped a shit ton though. Didn't 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 it? Tidebender dropped a lot. Shadow Tidebender is quite a drop. Quite a drop, but it's still four ticks, so that's fine. So um five, right? Yeah, we got our we got our money back, right? Because basically 95 is an entry, which is 10 ticks. So we got that back basically, right? Five chests or less than 10 ticks right now. So we got that plus, um, boom, plus the, uh, thing I was just saying that I don't know what it is. Tidebender. I'm a Tidebender. That's like four ticks. Always open. It's fun to do. The season of the bold worth anything? Hey, you know, it's worth 0. 0.41. Cool. So what do I know? But hey, that was really, really fun. Thank you again.
to uh I'm not gonna remember their name one of these times to heft for uh the donation necklace and you too can donate a vintage or any format really i'll play any format but i won't do as well as other ones in vintage um you can go to my uh kohi um or um you know just hit me up on twitter and talk to me in discord i'm in the vintage discord justin's discord great place if you love vintage vintage is fun i love playing vintage and um yeah thank you all very much for watching and have a lovely day